Hi everyone, Paul I Sam. Welcome to the At The Bench update. So, uh, we were here last Sunday, it's about four days ago now, and uh, I asked all you guys and girls out there to help me pick uh, my next build. Uh, I chose between a Porsche, a bike uh, that had already started, and a Subaru. And I reckon the Subaru won, not by a massive landslide, only just, and uh, I picked that kit to start. I'd already kind of picked it myself before I saw the results, but it was good to see the feedback, I got plenty of comments, and it was really good. So thank you guys and girls out there. Who commented? This is the kit if you missed it. It's the 05 Subaru from Tamiya. Uh, I did it in the Rossi markings from Blue Stuff and uh, lovely kit. It, it's coming along really well. I'm about 80% done. We'll have a look in a minute. I've got a bit of footage there we can look at. And uh, then we'll come back when it's done a little bit later on. So, a cracking kit. Really, really nice. Um, now, I have started a uh, touring car build. I will be starting another kit to go with that after this. Not sure which one yet. Uh, but if you want to take part in that, it's hosted on Facebook mainly. If it's on the forum, uh, you can post it in the road vehicle section. I haven't got a section as of yet, but I might set one up today. So keep an eye out for that. And uh, It's so easy now to post pictures on the forum. It's really easy. Um, I got a little guide in my last bench update, I think it was. And it's so easy to do. It's ridiculous. It really is. So if you've been on the forum and had trouble before posting pictures, head over there now and you'll find it a lot easier. It really is. You don't need to leave the forum anymore. Just click your pictures down below. Job done. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, so yeah, there's a few other builds on there at the minute. We've got Two Kids No Sleep, Scott Hastings uh, Bomber Build. That runs, I think, till the 31st of August. I think that's the date of it anyway. I'm not sure if it is. Um, I know there's plenty of participants in there, so hopefully you'll get some... Uh, good finishes in there. So I think Scott Classic is anything uh, two engine or more that purposely has a bomb bait on it. I think that's the way he's done it. Uh, we've also got Neil. Oh, I let myself down on the name. Trunk at 64 on the form. He's got a 172 and 176 SIG on there. Uh, now SIG is a special interest group build. So whereas Scott's got a bomber GB um, or SIG, whatever it is, um, a SIG is more specific, so you'll pick an actual type of bomber. So it'd be like Lancaster bomber would be the SIG. Uh, so that's any 172, 176 kit over there. Um, and there's the Cold War GB is on at the minute as well. And that runs till 31st of August as well. I think Neil's 172, 76 build runs till near the end of the year. It's quite a long one. It might even be longer, I forget now. But if you want to go join them, go over to the forum, have a look. And obviously, we've got the Facebook page as well to join. Both well run. Um, and yeah, it's a good community we've got there, really good. And like I say, solving those issues with the photos on the forum, brilliant, absolutely epically good. So there we are. So, what I think we'll do now is we'll head on over and have a look where I'm at with this. I did a short video last, oh no, yeah, yeah, did a short video earlier on, um, and see where we're at with it and have a look. Right, so I'm probably 80% hmm, done with this build. I started it on. Oh my god, I don't know when it was. It was a Sunday, Monday, and it is now Thursday, and this is where we're at. So, I just thought I'd show you the bench when it isn't clean, or tidy, that's what it looks like. So, a lot of work done on this today, as you can see, and I'll come up with that beautiful body shell. And I mean, so I've just been doing a bit of decal, so the water tray's out with the heater, um... Obviously the war pens are out over there, with the decals, the body shell, the wheels, seats, all the exhaust brakes are over there, the interior, the roll cage, everything uh, is all out. So yeah, this is what it can look like when I'm working, but it's tidied up every single day and uh, put back just how it is. That's how I work. I do work, tidy up and start afresh. So that's it. This is where we're at. So probably four days into the build maybe i think it was monday i started i forget to be honest it was monday or sunday and uh, this is where we're at so right looking back it was actually sunday I started this so we've got sunday monday tuesday wednesday Thursday. we're four days in which isn't bad uh and this is the body shell so absolutely stunning this is beautiful paintwork um in the world rally blue i think it is if i remember right i can't see my bottle it's over there um the warm weather helped immensely i was able to prime it um, paint it in one day basically because it just dried that quick it was uh, immensely warm on Sunday which helped brilliantly so really glad about that um, it was then decaled using the blue stuff decals which went down great a little bit thick uh, but they've gone down well and conformed really well to all the surfaces 
Obviously, it's Rossi's car, number 46. I've literally just put these decals on the windows. The windows need a bit of a clean. Um, but it, it looks great. Uh, it's such a stunning colour. 2K in the for 2K. Uh, put a 0.5 mil needle on the uh, the apex. I've got a little bit of dust on the roof right there, which I'm a bit gutted about, but it's one of those things. It's not, I'm not going to muck around getting it out because it'll just be detrimental to the finish. And it's turned out really well. Um, one thing I'm really proud of is a spoiler that was just very lightly attached. I'm going to pop it back on. Um, the spoiler on the real car is carbon inserts uh, and it is on this now as well I'm going to zoom in in a sec so what I did uh, I've got 24 scale carbon which you can barely see so I decided to use 20th scale which I had but sadly um, it was old stuff that I got basically in another kit um, and I think it was past its prime and it just disintegrates this is 12 scale now it's a little bit over scale um, but with the 20, 24 scale stuff, I could have just painted it and it would look exactly the same. So I've got a little bit over scale so you could see it. In that spoiler there, there's about 45 to 50 individual pieces. Um, they're all in there. All the sides are individual pieces and everywhere. There's a hole in the back as you can see. That's where I had to hold it. So that needs filling in and I'll pop a little bit of, I might even stick a little bit of carbon decal over it to be honest. But you can't see, you can't see from the back. And when you're looking normally for the front, you can't see it either. But very happy with that spoiler. It is beautiful. It turned out really well. And once it was 2K'd, really, really came alive. Absolutely lovely. Very happy with this. It's turned out well. Um, so give me another couple of days. I reckon Friday, Saturday morning, um, this will be done. I've still got window rubbers to do. I've got the lights to sort out. A bit of carbon around the front to put on. Um... Bit of detail painting here and there, stuck all the running gear together. I've got the interior to put together, it's all painted. I'll show you that now quickly. Um, so the dashboard's done, really nice dash actually, out of the box. Pretty well detailed, it's been sprayed in the texture paint from zero, which gives a nice bit of texture. And then decals for all the buttons, consoles, etc. So that's come out really well. The seats are there, again they've been done in the texture paint. Uh, I need a new uh, Sparco decal because that went... <laughs> Unfortunately, as did the STI one on there as well, but the carbon backing's on, they're ready to go. And again, that's been done in the texture paint again as well. So it's a steering wheel. Uh, the wheels have been painted in Tamiya TS21 uh, Gold, I think it is. And we've got the uh, tire decals on tonight as well, which are very smart as well. Really, really nice. And like I say, all the st other stuff's over there, the roll cage, everything is painted near enough, but I've still got... When the rubbers to do, we've got the um, let's have a thing. wipers to paint up, the antennas, the air rules, uh, the light pods, um, the backing for them. Some of them are coloured yellow. And uh, that's about it. So literally, um, it should be finished Friday, I reckon. And it's on to my next project, which we'll talk about in a minute. And there we go. So that's where I'm out of it. See my bench in a mess a little bit. That's what I call a mess anyway. Uh, I was in a hangout there with the guys, chatting away, and just thought, I'll take a couple of minutes away. And show you all where I'm at of it. So, really happy with that colour. It's a beautiful colour, and the 2K is quite fantastic on it. Really, really nice car. It's a good kit so far, but no issues whatsoever. And uh, it's a beautiful looking machine. That blue on the later ones, that World Rally blue, is a bit deeper than the earlier Subarus, and it's a lovely colour. Really, really nice. Um, so, that's it, really. So, uh, obviously, check out uh, my own personal Facebook page as well. Not my own Paul Bretland page. I don't tend to add people on that because it's got my family stuff on there. And there's no modeling on there whatsoever. But I've got Paul uh, ISM uh, Facebook page. So search for that. I think the links are down below in the description anyway. And all my modeling work goes on there. And I can answer messages, questions, or what have you by the message system. Uh, and we've got the Live at the Bench page for the live show every Friday night. Half 7 UK, half 8 Europe, one thirty Central US. Uh, and the Hangout group as well. You can come join our for the Hangouts. Um, and come join in the fun on there. So there's a group for that. You've got to join it to join us, obviously. And uh, yeah, a couple of joins. All you need is a webcam and my good sense of humour and a Google Plus account. And you're laughing and you'll come and join us and have some fun. So there we are. So I'm going to come back uh, probably straight away in the video. And uh, the Subaru should be done and we'll have a look around that. Right, there we go. So it's Sunday morning. It's approximately a week since I started this kit. And uh, it's been brilliant. Absolutely loved it. Finished it on Friday, actually, to be honest. Uh, I think that was the day after I did that video um, updated. You just seen 
uh, lovely kit, lovely finish, lovely decals, lovely colour. The 2K went fantastic, and I'm very happy with it. Highly recommend that kit. And I'm quite tempted to buy another and do the Solberg scheme out of the box. It was that good. So we'll check out the turntable in a minute and have a look what it looks like. And uh, have a bit of a chat about what was done. And uh, yeah, have a good look at it. So the next build I chose, uh, a buddy build of me and Sam, and another entry to my build, is the Penzoil Nismo GTR. So it's another Skyline in the Penzoil scheme, which is lovely. Quite a hard kit to find this now. Um, for silly money on eBay. And uh, looking forward to getting that one started later on today, so that'll be cool as well. Um, yeah, so there we are. So let's have a look at that, and um, let's go and look at that Subaru and see what it looks like. Right, okay, so this is the completed Subaru. This is Tamiya's 2005 Subaru. Um, it's out of the box, bar the carbon decal on the rear spoiler, uh, the Monza Rossi decals, and some fabric belts inside as well, which I don't think you'll see. Because of the angle, but you may do if you have a look inside about now as it comes around. Ooh, just about, I think. So, yeah, absolutely lovely kit. Um, started last week, so we have five days to complete. Um, and just lovely. Primed the UMPY primer, about four coats of that. Um, sprayed about five minutes between each coat. It was a nice warm day, so it was drying really quick and really hard as well. Uh, our primer really does like the heat. Contrary to popular belief, um, it was then sprayed the same day, uh, late on that night, in the Zero World Rally Blue. It had about seven coats of that. It needed about seven coats to get the coverage uh, because of that blue, uh, the depth of it. I gave it a few more than normal and absolutely lovely. Chassis roll cage and a few of the bits and bobs were painted in the same manner as well. Uh, it was less 24 hours, well, about 12 hours. And then the next day, decal. It's a really quick progress. Absolutely stunning decals. The whole, near enough, the whole car is aftermarket decal, bar a few parts. And those blue stuff decals went down really well. A little bit thick at first, but they seemed to conform and settle well. Had no issues with any of them, really. They all went down well. And a really nice, really nice scheme. Uh, if you're a fan of Valentino Rossi, I am myself, not a massive fan, but I do uh, appreciate the talent of the man. And it's nice to see the Doctor logo. And his iconic number 46 on the car as well. Um, once they were dry, it was given a MEPA 2K sprayed at about 30 psi through my Apex, UMP Apex, uh, with its 0.5mm needle nozzle, which I've now got, which is making quite a bit of a difference, I think. Still needs a bit of experimentation, but we'll see. Um, and yeah, they're given a couple of days to cure, and then um, it was done with this. The spoiler um, was done with Scale Motorsport carbon film. I did it in the 12 scale stuff to give it a Make sure you could see it because the, the true to scale stuff you could barely see, and I could have just painted it black to be honest. Uh, but that spoiler was about 45 plus different pieces of carbon film, all individually cut by myself and set in place, and then 2K clear of the rest of the car. It took me nine hours in total just to do that spoiler, but it was worth it because it looks great. Also, carbon decal the mirrors and that very front. Uh, lip on the bumper as well. Uh, the rims they were painted in UMP Black Primer and then painted in the Tamiya TS21, I think it is, decanted and airbrushed. Uh, it's my favourite gold colour, absolutely stunning colour it is. Um, and then we added some hobby design antenna to the roof, which look better than the kit ones, they're a bit thinner. Uh, they're the two you can see on the left now, the higher ones. And uh, that's about it. Lovely kit, really nice kit. I think I'll be getting another. Like I said, I think I fancy doing out of the box uh, in the Petter Solberg scheme. And really enjoyed this build, really did, really quick build, went together with no issues at all, and really was a nice build. Um, so there we go, that's it, highly recommend this kit, highly recommend those decals, and uh, if you're looking for a good clear coat, as you can see by my bonnet there, you need to try 2K. It's probably the quickest and easiest way to get a finish like this, and it's pretty hard to beat, and I tried most clear coats out there. So if you want to give it a go, the only problem is it's got some pretty bad side effects if you're not careful so you need a good booth extractor booth uh, gloves um, and a really a proper ventilator mask not a B&Q dust mask a proper ventilator mask but very happy with this one definitely one of my better pieces of work and a uh, pride of place in the display case I think it really is absolutely made up with this one so there we go there we go Brilliant. Made up with that one. Very happy with that finish. It's a lovely looking car and a lovely colour and a great scheme as well with the Doctor logo and the 46 number 
Valentino Rossi on the side, absolutely superb. And great kit, highly recommend that one for sure. So there we go. Looking forward to cracking on with the Skyline today. And I'll come back next week with another update of that as well. And uh, we'll see how we get on with that. So brilliant. Like I said, there's a touring car build over on the forum. So we want to go over there and have a look. Not the forum, on the Facebook page. Uh, it's basically anything that isn't a road car, rally car, or open wheel racer. It's basically DTM, British touring cars, Japanese touring cars, GT, Le Mans, anything like that. No NASCAR either, unfortunately. Roddy doesn't matter. And uh, yeah, if you want to come join in, it's over on the Facebook page and they are posted on the forum in the road vehicle section as well. Don't forget to check out the Hangout Modeling Group uh, on Facebook as well. If you want to come join our offer at Hangouts, I've already said it, but I had a couple of old friends reappear uh, the other night, which was good to see. We had Jermaine reappear and Jonathan Bellows, who we've not seen for quite some time. So it was quite uh, surreal chatting to those guys again, but it was good, good to catch up and good to have a chat as well. So hopefully they'll keep coming back. Um, check out the Live the Bench page as well uh, for the Friday night shows. Uh, my Paul ISM page, you've got the ISM Facebook page in the forum, and of course, umpretail.com. Myself on these business, uh, shock horror. How dare I promote it? Um, where we sell sanders, cleaners, thinners, kits, primers, airbrushes, all sorts of stuff over there. Head on over there and have a look. And uh, there we go, that's it today. Uh, not much else to talk about, I don't think. No, not really. Um, so there we are. So yeah, very happy with the Subaru. Can't wait to get going on this uh, GTR, and uh, I'll keep you uh, updated on Facebook and the forum with my build progress and my personal modeling page as well. And we'll come back um, probably same time ish next week and see where we're at with it. Hopefully, we'll be nearly finished by then, and um, we can crack on and pick the next build, which is Sam's turn next time. So it's up to Sam to pick the build next time. We we alternate, just so you know. And there you go. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys and girls next time. Don't forget, leave a comment. I read all the comments in there. Thumbs up, thumbs down, wherever you want to give us. But please leave a comment. Uh, even if it's just hello. Or first. I hate that. Uh, <laughs> there we are. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.